orchestra we're using for the series is made up of a rather unique band of performers. They're all young people in their 20s from about 22 different countries. I think they're wonderful. I hope you do too. Well, we need one other person, somebody who doesn't actually play an instrument in the orchestra, but who holds the whole thing together, who makes it all come to life, uh, the conductor. And for this, we have one of the great maestros of the 20th century, Sir George Schulte. You are very sweet, thank you. And uh, and then we get the that sweeping tune. Um, the main tune, yeah. Yeah, it would be very strange to hear one section taken away. For instance, the woodwind or the brass or the or the percussion or the strings. It would distort the fabric of the piece. I show it to you. So tutti at first. <laughs> They waited for you? Yes, they did. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. It would be interesting to hear what it would sound like with, with one of the sections. Only? Uh, yes. So may they have only string now, please? Very good. Mm. You are very good. It was very good. Yeah. Now, do further jokes. Only woodwind. No timpani, no brass play. Only woodwind. Sounds very different. Yes, it does. Yeah. And now only the brass. That will be even funnier. Mm. <laughs> only the brass. Okay.
Right? Now, first, the last joke is percussion. Only. <laughs> Only. Now, the beauty is coming now. Play all of you together, the mm -hmm. same. There are things you can do on the violin you, that you simply can't do on the violin because it, you, well, unless you have enormous hands or something. Viola definitely is the most difficult of the string instruments to play. Really? It and bass are the most difficult. Um, because of the hand positions? The hand position and the actual distances that you have to stretch your fingers. You don't yeah. need to be strong, you have to be flexible. It takes a strange courage to practice eight hours a yeah. day. <laughs> oh, this is money. Big violin. <laughs> I like the low register. I really like the resonance. What made you take out the bass? Jazz, and yeah. the way it looked. The difficulty in playing piccolo is mostly that there's very little to play, but when you do play, you hear everything exactly, and it's, it's, it's like you say, it's very, very exposed. Sounds wow. like a bagpipe. <laughs> Great. My God, I don't know how you get anything out of it. It's such a long, it's such a long thing. It's 16 feet long. And um, you have feet in England. And when I was a little kid, I walked in and saw the tuba and the nice big shiny instrument. And I was like, wow, that's great. And so I wanted to play one of those from the very start. <laughs> I 
think this is the big advantage from percussion. We can play all style. We can play contemporary. Yeah. We can play Schumann, <laughs> piano concerto. <laughs> we can we can play jazz, rock, funk. We can all play. In contemporary music, not only you play the instruments in the normal ways, but you're asked to do very interesting stuff, like you might take a bass bow and be asked to bow the tam-tam. It's a problem that I've been thinking about a lot recently, which is how can some of the best musicians in the world be real jerks and not be, you know, especially great people. I mean, um, I, I don't really understand this. I mean, you would think that um, people who are, you know, really good people would be the best musicians.